and welcome back to the Mike Leaf Show here on the Warrior Sports Network as we continue with these special postseason editions of the Mike Leaf Show. I'm joined as always by Winona State Head Coach Mike Leaf and uh, we'll get rolling right into it coach. This is your ninth trip to the NCAA tournament in the last 10 years. Um, so much sustained success by this Warrior program. Um, you'll play Northwest Missouri State in the opening round. That's a 7.30 game uh, on Saturday in Mankato. Um, you know, even though you've been to the postseason so often, it's got to be thrilling uh, each time to see your name during that selection show and know that you're uh, that you're one of the teams that's still alive and still playing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, you got 40 plus teams that are in our region, and you know they choose eight. And I tell you, you know, you look at a team like a Bemidji in our league or a Moorhead and had terrific seasons. You know, we lose a couple games here or there, and, and we may not be in this position. So, you know, I told our guys last night, you've got to, you know, you you really have to enjoy it. Uh, because you don't know how often or, or when it will happen again, so it's it's a it's a great great feeling. This this region is so deep, uh, not only the NSIC but the uh, the MIAA and the GAC conference. Um, it, it's so deep, and so to be one of those eight teams remaining out of those forty, like you mentioned, that's got to give you a real sense of pride and accomplishment. Just to just what made the field for sure. You know, it, it was disappointing losing in the in the uh, conference tournament there to Mankato, and uh, you know it was it was. No excuses, but it, it, it's, it's, it's hard to play three days in a row. And, uh, you know, I think it took its toll for sure. And, uh, but, you know, we've had a little time off, uh, revitalize ourselves, and, yeah, you're proud to be able to represent your conference, and you want to do some great things. Uh, you know, we were seated fourth, and, uh, you know, it kind of felt like, man, maybe we should have been uh, seated third. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, you know, there's a team in there or two that maybe shouldn't belong, and maybe we should have a few more from the NSIC. So there's some motivation that's there Absolutely. to represent uh, our conference and, and show how tough our conference is. The postseason is something um, that this team is very familiar with. Uh, even the redshirt freshmen, they got to experience the run that you guys yeah. went on last year. How do you kind of uh, how do you get them ready for the postseason? What do you try to tell them going into these games? Where you know it's it's winter go home. Yeah, it's definitely, and you, and you try to explain that earlier on in the year, and even in the back of your mind, you know that you're still playing, say even in a conference tournament, but you know you've got to realize that each game is so very very important, and uh, you know hopefully you know with a couple losses that we've had during the year, we might have you know not looking looked the hardest at it and had an opponent that uh, you know that's going to carry over and help us out, but. Uh, it, it is. It's one game. It's it's got to be one game, and uh, you know you've got to do everything you can. Uh, you know about find out about your opponent, and, and but more importantly, do the things that you've been doing all year long. I know it's early in the week, uh, but what are your thoughts so far on Northwest Missouri State mm -hmm. and what they bring to the table? Well, you know, I looked uh, uh, for a little bit, and tomorrow we're going to watch some film and, and, and things on them. But uh, they've got the well, they got the Player of the Year mm -hmm. in their conference, who is uh, quite a score. And, uh, you know, right off the bat, I'll tell you, you know, we're going to throw Kellen Taylor on him. And, uh, you know, we feel like we've got one of the best defenders, you know, seriously, and people laugh at this, but not just in the region, but in the country. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I shouldn't say laugh, but <laughs> he does. He does such a really, really nice job, and that's going to be his matchup. And, uh, you know, we'll see who wins that battle. But they also have a, a big kid inside that does a lot of scoring for him. Uh, they got a 6'10 kid that uh, starts for him, but the last few games he's only played like seven, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. But they've got two guys off the bench that have done a, a nice job for him at, at playing at about 28, 29 minutes. So it's, um, you know, they've got talent and, and uh, they've beaten some great teams. They've got a great league. Uh, they have played a couple teams in our league, but it was way early in the year, right. you know, back in November. So you don't know if, you know, you can look at that a little bit, but uh, so many teams uh, change along the course of the year. Well, the NCAA postseason is what awaits for the Warriors. Again, they play Northwest Missouri State on Saturday, 7.30 in Mankato. Uh, so hopefully we will see all of you out there. We'll be back with more from Coach Leaf later in the week. But first, we're going to sit down with Warriors senior Kellen Taylor. 